día, comenzando con la serie de, de charlas que hemos organizado en conmemoración del 70 aniversario del observatorio. Tenemos el agrado de presentar al doctor eh, Vladimir Lipunov de la de Universidad Estatal eh, Lomonosov de Moscú. El doctor Vladimir es... Eh, el doctor en Ciencias Físicas y Matemáticas y profesor del Departamento de Astrofísica y Astronomía Estelar eh, en la Universidad de Moscú imparte cursos de Astrofísica Teórica, Astrofísica de Estrellas de Neutrones y Agujeros Negros y Seminarios de Astrofísica General. Es miembro de la Unión Astronómica Internacional y de la Sociedad Astronómica Europea. Ha sido laureado con el premio Lomonosov de la Universidad Estatal de Moscú, es trabajador de honor de la educación superior de Rusia, autor de numerosos trabajos científicos, libros, monografías y libros de texto. Ha publicado más de 200 artículos científicos, con más de mil citas por año, a partir del año 2018. Eh, con... Con el doctor Vladimir Lipunov tenemos una relación de hace varios años. Eh, tenemos instalada en el, la estación Chesco del Observatorio Félix Aguilar eh, en una estación de la red Master que comenzó a operar en el año 2012 en su versión Master 1 y a partir de 2016 en su versión Master 2. El objetivo de esta red es el análisis de todo el cielo observado durante cada día y el seguimiento de alertas de búsqueda de contrapartes ópticas de ráfagas de rayos gamma en forma sincrónica en varios filtros y en varios planos de polarización. Esta estación de la red ha posibilitado este, el descubrimiento de varios eventos de mucho interés, tales como eh, eh, eventos de ondas gravitacionales. Bueno, le voy a dar la palabra al doctor Vladimir eh, Lipunov. Vladimir. Yes. Please. Start with your talk, please. I have started, no? Yes, yes. Okay. Buena, people. I, I never to see people, uh, maybe young, maybe students. Okay. Uh, bu buenos días, buenos... Uh, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> okay. Just a moment. Uh, we started today with, uh, I must to turn on the, my screen demonstration. I put it, okay, just a moment. Uh, no, this one, I will. Yeah, me, ah, flap to the first time, it is open, it's open. Just a moment. It's a very important point of my talk, the, uh, the flag of uh, Argentina every day stay near, uh, up, uh, on back side on, uh, for me and all people, journalists every time when come, come to take a photo of the Argentinian flag. I would like to see you. Let us present from the the staff of the observatory. Okay, you see my first slide, yes? Yes, maybe. I, I hope you see the first slide and the title of my talk. Uh, the talk is the Master Global Robotic Net and the Stream Universe. But this, oh, of course, uh, the, this talk, uh, some specific, of, of course, understandable that uh, some specific connected with the OAFA observatory, very close to the, my interest, OAFA, OAFA Jubilee, OAFA. Uh, 70 years, very nice data from the astronomers of the European University, San Juan University, and so on. Okay, what about I say today, uh, want to say today, uh, oh, mamma mia. Just a moment. Just a moment. Maybe to 
I, I ask it my uh, people in the Natash, Natash. I'm too tough, I'm not going to be a Danilo, my young, young Danilo, Danilo, Vlasin, Tao, Colossus with the uh, telegrams and papers, uh, small postgraduated students. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure Нет, а что, что? Ты что надел? Просто на сайте. То есть мышкой? Ага. Usually when I give a talk in any conference, in any meeting with a scientist, an astrophysicist, I show that the very big job, very big collaboration of the eight, nine observatory in different countries, in different continent, continents, and so you can uh, see on these slides as a, a lot of uh, people which, not a lot of, but about 20, maybe 20 people which collaborated with us. Uh, we collaborated with uh, Mexico, South Africa, and so I, I will talk, talk, talk about these uh, collaborators maybe later. You can see the, on this slide. Next slide. I would like to propose to you next plan of, our, of my talk. And first, I would like to show you what is the main goal of our investigation by robotic telescope, especially the master global robotic net. Uh, you see the first, this introduction my talk, and after that, I would like to say several words about the specific master system, master, uh, almost all observatory is very similar each to other, with some small, small differences, but principle is the same. And uh, next, I would like to show you the discovery of the master net, most bright discovery, because we published about uh, several thousand uh, astronomical telegrams. Uh, we published the, at least, uh, about 60 papers in the Q1 journal. The uh, best world astrophysical astronomical journal uh, during the last five or uh, five years, for not not five, maybe ten years, and uh, uh, so I must to found most bright result and to say and uh, some words you see what the uh, physical and astrophysical interest is very very wide because we produce a system which is very universal for the very sensitive to different branch of modern astrophysics. Very connected, you can see, with the modern physics, with a great physical experiment like to ice cube, LIGO, uh, a very big experiment of the observation of high energy neutrino. You see here is the sum list of the, okay. The time is not go, is not big for for the my for the my talk. Not very big time, so I must go. What is the extreme universe? The story started at the nineteen sixteen. That is the uh, years when the Albert Einstein, one years before Albert Einstein proposed the equation general relativity equation, and the, one of the first problems which we, which he solved in the framework of general relativity is the next. We have the two stars which rotated each other, binary star. What is the energy emitted in the gravitational wave? That is the questions of this problem. And uh, uh, I don't uh, show you a lot of formula because I understand uh, there is a uh, students and I would like to some uh, very simple uh, population now, but in his formula for the luminosity or gravitational wave, when the, the first, he first showed that the binary star rotating one around another emitted special new wave in the universe, gravitational wave. The gravitational wave has a tw twice, 
frequency twice orbital frequency you understand because there's a quadrupole deviation of quadrupole gravitational mass with the frequency of the orbital frequency in his formula very important formula i'm not sure here but in his formula he introduced uh, he found some very universal uh, values that is a natural luminosity i'm sorry this is a russian not not important that is a luminosity is a fundamental luminosity he discovered fundamental luminosity speed of light in the power five divided to gravitational constant that is very very big luminosity about the 10 to the uh, four uh, multiplied to 10 to the 59 arc per second that is a standard of the luminosity in the universe my question what is the uh, we see a lot of active active process in the universe but I would like to uh, uh, find uh, in dimension less units, uh, real luminosity, sun, galaxy, quasars, uh, blazers, all objects in the universe. And I want to find uh, the relative power of this object, because some people say, for example, supernova is very, very bright. How very bright? Yeah, I must to uh, divide it to this luminosity for the estimation of brightness, absolute and dimension of brightness. So very interesting that in universe must be uh, this very very so fifty years ago, not thirty years ago. Uh, as the theoretical astrophysics, I was theoretical initially. Uh, we considered three reaction in universe reaction what is this reaction we know that the in universe there is a lot there are a lot of neutron stars neutron stars a black hole and black hole a black hole uh, uh, there are three type of reaction but this stars not independent this stars formated by evolution of the uh, evolution binary star, usual binary star. Half of, of the star in the now universe are the binary. That is observational fact. In our galaxy, every second star is binary. That is observational fact. And after a uh, massive binary system can be produced neutron star, black hole, black hole. These three reactions produce a gravitational wave you see here gravitational wave all of this reaction and the gamma ray burst in some case and uh, in this case uh, and kilonova but very interesting uh, if you i take uh, including in consideration quantum mechanics and i divided the quantum energy formated with the Planckian constant divided to the Planckian time, I received same value, natural luminosity, which discovered by the Einstein. This means that the really very universal unit, this unit of power in the universe. You know, as a, you remember the 19th century in the Paris Academy was uh, the one meter, metallic one meter, that is a standard. In our universe, that is a standard of power. Okay. And come back to the 20th century. What is the we see in, in, in the universe at the, in 20th century? We see galaxy which live about 10 billion years. This is a lifetime. You see, this is a diagram. This is lifetime of the phenomena or object or phenomenon, this lifetime. That is, a, you see, the billion, 10 billion years here. That is a, uh, 10 to the, that is about one day. This one day, this logarithmic. That is a one second. This very fantastic axis. This really fantastic axis because uh, my talk about the in universe exists very short events which we not see in the 20th century. 
why, why we do not see here any, any object on the sky in the universe, in the cosmological this, we, don't, we did not see any uh, object in this region. Only very close to the new millennium, we discovered that the really this exists, but we did not see in 20th century. Why is it? Because our telescope of 20th century is very slow, not very sensitive, because using the plate, photometers is very small, uh, not, not good uh, field of view. Uh, and uh, if you come to the uh, analog of the, this effect in 19th century, you see photo uh, which taken in the 19th century in Paris. Paris is the capital of the culture, capital of the uh, um, S at this time. But you see no people, no horse, no caretas on the street, no, no live animals on the street. Why? They disappear because people moving on the, this is a boulevard, boulevard in the Paris, Montparnasse, maybe I don't remember, but never people, only one people here. You see it here. This one people, because they stay on the one place, cleaning his shoes, this, and never one people, two people, never another, like to the catastrophe, Hollywood film, catastrophic Hollywood film, when the in one day, all people disappear. Why? Because the sensitive of the 19th century photo image is very low and have very big exposition. The exposition to receive this cover is about several minutes. During one minute, people, passenger, passageros, <laughs> go from the, this movement, from the information. So astronomers of 20th century not see this very, very short events. But you see, I come back on this. In 20th century, same, same, same uh, you see same, no, uh, no short uh, events of the universe. But really now we see this picture, you see, what is this? I would like to say you. I, I repeat, this one second, this one, about one day, this is the, that is second, you see, this about one day, that is a uh, Hubble, Hubble time of universe, that is a galaxy, you see, that is logarithmic, logarithmic uh, power of this object, you see, in logarithmic, that is a maximal natural luminosity, that is Big Bang, for example, uh, our universe created with a natural luminosity, but uh, very, very bright object of the, our universe in 20th century quasars, billion times, several dozen billion times less than the um, uh, biggest uh, possible luminosity in our universe. Our universe is very, very, very uh, silently, very small, uh, uh, very silent uh, angle of the uh, cosmos. So, but now we see new objects that are supernova, not very bright, you see very small, 10 to the 20, 15, 15 order difference. There's no, no influence to the, but you see there's a long gamma ray bars, that is a short gamma ray bars, that is a gravitational wave, of binary magic stars, which I discuss it later. That is so gamma repeaters. That is fast radio bars. You see here, that is extreme universe of the, which we uh, must be uh, investigated in 21 new object of 21 century. With very, very fantastic, uh, that is extreme universe. How to see, how to find this object? And, but first problem, how to offer, uh, for example, you see here gravitational wave, uh, uh, wave bars, okay, after measuring two binary stars. But how often this phenomena can be, what is the, uh, what is the cross section of this re reaction, how very often this uh, okay in our universe. For this, we, 
30 years in 1983, we proposed on the very old computer, new model. We, low, we put in computer or law of evolution binary star, and we, uh, we simulated artificial extreme universe. We look to find a relativistic object in this artificial universe. And we, you see this result. This is my two postgraduated students, Sergei Nazian on the right, Vanya Panchenka. You see that is about 20 years ago. Yes, or 30, I, I never to understand. 30 years ago, calculated the how often in our galaxy, one per 10,000 years in our galaxy, goes this reaction, two neutron stars produce gravitation wave, gamma ray waves, and so, so, so. Uh, black hole is much more, uh, neutron stars is much more often than black hole, black hole. This is a mixed reaction. This is very non-observable before. 30 years ago, we dream about this reaction, but not see. That is a possible gravitation wave sky. As you see, gravitation, uh, as is the paper, is 1995. You see that as we uh, simulated the, uh, using the real distribution of galaxy on the sky, we simulated gravitation wave sky. This is our dream. What? But how to see this phenomenon, magic or star, to see this extreme universe? Uh, at the end of the 20th century, the beginning of this century, appear new global experiment. You see, that is uh, some gamma ray observatory, space gamma ray observatory, different country, Europe, and uh, several was uh, Russian, but uh, most popular this now uh, observatory. And uh, uh, gamma ray emission can be detected only on the space. After the detection, this uh, observatory uh, give this information to Gamma Center Network, and by internet you can receive, after half of second, you can receive signal about discovery and possible coordinates, very, very big error box you receive on all this telescope. That is the idea of this experiment. This you see, gamma ray bursts, this gamma, gamma ray sky, this gamma ray bursts come to the S, and after that, all telescope can be uh, uh, try to find another electromagnetic optical. For example, now I say that is two model people. That there are two gamma ray bursts, long and short. Long may be connected with the collapse and formation black hole. You see here some movie which demonstrated all energy comes through the jet, very narrow jet about several degrees and 90-90% uh, comes this uh, not come to S really because very very but uh, short gamma ray uh, was maybe produced at that time 1997 uh, maybe produced gravitation wave and produced some kilonova kilonova the part of matter of neutron stars can be ejected and uh, uh, like to know, but uh, but uh, one thousand times more power than a usual know. Okay, how to observe this? We in uh, twenty years ago we tried to produce the first robot in Russia. You see that the train near the Moscow, not good. And now we have global robotic stuff. This is the first global. Uh, investigated system, wide field telescope. Why we use it, wide field telescope? This telescope has about six square degrees, six square degrees. That is a 10,000 more than the, for example, Hubble telescope, because this telescope needed for the found on the sky object with very, very big error box. So, this must be very fast. Our dream, we must to see the optical emission during the gamma ray bus, not after, but gamma ray bus. You see here, that is the people in, um, about, uh, not about uh, 10 years ago, uh, we come to the Argentina. This you see, you can find several people which help us during this 10 years. 
the Hugo Levata uh, he's produced this moving this uh, uh, this found for us this observatory but here we found very nice people Claudio Malamachi director uh, 10 years ago the you see Ricardo Podesta he is now Carlos Francili uh, very very nice uh, last collaboration that is 10 years ago this five years ago this years we come here to some some repairing of the telescope because they stay 10, 10 years okay now we have around world eight very very nice telescope similar telescope and this telescope uh, can uh, very fantastic so this soft exists only in two countries your america usa and russia but more universal our soap because we produce a special telescope for the special soap a special optic for example if you know Zwicky project that is a very old schmidt telescope palomar schmidt telescope which uh, they uh, put the very big ccd we use it only new telescopes and after five years ten years uh, of the beginning we come to the first Time, first uh, place of the observation of the gamma ray bars. That is a very high energetic, which produced by the collapsing star on the very, very far from 10 billion light year from the Earth. 10 billion light year from the Earth with a small 40 telescope. That's fantastic. In 20th century, people say, if you want to see another age of universe, you must put billion dollars for the uh, building the 10 meter, 6 meter, 8 meter, now 40 meter telescope. We using very small telescope. That is, a, you see, there's a, a master input, global master input to the observation of gamma ray bars and optic. During the gamma ray bars, not finished. This very complicated problem. You see some some result of observation in the, in the observatory. You see we discovered in the OAFA observatory 600 new optical phenomena on the sky. That from 20th century is a fantastic result. This new new uh, that is a telescope of 21 century. Uh, we you know you. Uh, Included supernova, no variables of optical, and we found kilonova with uh, our colleague from the OAFA. We first we found the kilonova. I would like to show several. For that is, for example, uh, first time we put a very small seven centimeter telescope and found very bright cataclysmic 12, uh, 12 magnitude at two zero, uh, 20 years ago. This first. No, 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 10 years ago, the first object discovered on our upper in the small, small camera. That is fantastic because very bright. Uh, but this in Magellan, no, but this is a galaxy. Uh, that is a nova in the small Magellanic clouds. That is a, a nova in the small Magellanic clouds. Uh, uh, this, LMC, this small, this uh, large Magellanic clouds. Okay, yeah, this, uh, I know to stop. Uh, you see a very important result of our observation later. For example, more bright, I have no time. People, we discovered 3,000 new objects on the sky. As, uh, I, I show some, yeah, I can show only 1% of our, not 1%, maybe smaller, but more, maybe bright. No, you see that as a nature paper. First nature paper of master, we discovered uh, very, very bright uh, gamma ray bars and first discovered no, never before people not see polarization of gamma ray bars. And you see very, uh, you see our telescope detected uh, beginning at the before the bars, bars here beginning. And that is the second people, this several minutes okay uh, the, uh, that is a very wide field camera you uh, don't worry this is not telescopic this bright phenomena on the other side of the universe 
we detected it here, you see, we, uh, here with the camera, seven centimeters. Oh, you see this in real time, you see. Okay. Uh, the another, uh, in uh, last October, we discovered uh, that is publication in Nature, that is publication in the Science Advanced. That's another very, very big journal, very well known journal and the popular journal, scientific, higher impact factor. Okay, you see, we, we, uh, observe, we give the, the, one of the first observations of the most bright uh, gamma ray bursts. Uh, last year, you see that the 25, 22 years, October, 9 October, uh, 22. That is uh, our discovery of this, uh, uh, this bright uh, GRB. You see, that is a distribution of all gamma ray bars from the luminosity, that luminosity, and that is a distance, no ratchet, ratchet. That is very far, that is very close. In October, 9 October last year, people, uh, gamma ray telescope detected this phenomena, which not inside this, the probability of this uh, events about one per 1,000 years. So you must wait to see this next phenomenon, 1,000 years, it's very interesting. But we received the photometrical, this multi-wave, multi-channel. Uh, you see here multi-channel uh, light curve and different filter from X-ray to the infrared. That is a master OAF. This is a master of this very not this not master OAF. What well, is master OAF? A very important point because we see some of the. Uh, uh, some the gap in the light curve, you see the, the, some, uh, how to say, uh, edge effect. So, uh, and in this paper we explain with the uh, Argentinian, uh, Carlos Francini is our co-author in this paper, this very important, we explained the, why this phenomena we see because uh, really, the probability not one per thousand, but much more. So this we propose a new type of jets in the gamma ray bars. Okay, another people, you see, uh, between gamma ray bars, our telescope discovered 3,000 uh, phenomena. One of the very interesting observed all biggest telescope on the West in space, of course, Observed our sources, discovered in OAFA, free of charge, people, because very important. Uh, I, I would like to show something this phenomenon. You see, that is a master system can be just detected, especially 600 discovered in the your observatory, in the Argentinian observatory, in our common project. You see that the 10 different optical transient of the sky automatically. But uh, human go to the database, it's very, very full robotic telescope. He, he observed it with sleeping at the night. At the morning, near coffee, you can come to the, our system and discover a supernova, uh, micro quasar flyers, a lot of objects on the sky. So, uh, you see, that is our uh, master global net sky. That is our, not 3,000, maybe five years ago we proposed this. There's about 1,000. You see, global, uh, because our telescope exists in the north and the south country, you see old sky. We discovered optical transient. This main idea of our project, so we can dis discover it, control sky every second, every minute, every hour, because we have everywhere a telescope. You see, it's a very interesting. The discovery is Nova, red Nova in the in the uh, that is Andromeda galaxy, northern galaxy. You can see that is a Nova. 
you see that the billion stars we found <laughs> Noah in the Andromeda. Andromeda, that's very, very interesting because before this red, bright red Noah, all biggest telescope in the world and space telescope, Spitzer observed this object discovered by Master. And we published it in monthly notices. Okay, uh, I must be very, very faster. But, but really, we found that the binary system, usual style, uh, Red Nova, in our paper, we show that the Nasandi uh, that is explained as a magic of usual binary stars. Two stars like to the sun, rotating and collided and measured can give the red bright uh, Nova. Uh, okay. Uh, another, we found, uh, usually we try to find gamma ray bars, after that found the optical counterpart. But sometimes, uh, with what, what very old our dream, we found uh, the orphan gamma ray bars, orphan optical transient. No detector detection of gamma ray bars, but optical telescope discovery this. Uh, this phenomena independent from gamma ray bars nature of this. This very important. You see the, this interesting picture. That is a uh, magnitude of the object. As uh, that is a uh, time. In, uh, this is one day. That is uh, uh, several hours. Uh, that is a uh, month. You see here. That is a light curve. Discovered first point the receiving by the Zwicky experiment, American Zwicky experiment. This you see, this very old Schmidt telescope, Palomar Schmidt telescope. They received several years ago about $100 billion for the uh, uh, refreshing this telescope and putting new big, big CCD. And uh, this Zwicky point here. But our telescope discovered this object before, three hours before Tsvipi. Uh, that is a master, red is a master point. This first discovery of orphan, which we see this very good, uh, very smooth light curve. Yeah, I have no time, but we using shape of this light cover and we found real time when this gamma ray burst was okay. And we, after that, come to the catalog gamma ray catalog, not found this gamma, that is an orphan phenomenon, very important. That is a theory and the result. Uh, I would like to show more simply objects, that the comet and the asteroid, very, we master the discovery on different observatory, five comets, that by product, we not specially found the comet, but this automatical discovery of the comet. Uh, but in every, in some case, people found in database, the robot formatted real time database and all people from all universe, from all city, from all bus, metro, when not possible, you can found the comet, uh, this uh, found this comet. And you see that the first comet discovered on Oaxa Observatory in Argentina, you see, uh, the, you see, 2020. That is the COVID period. All telescope in the world stop, but robotic telescope in Argentina works. You see here, discovered this comet. Uh, the comet named uh, this is the time, uh, comet C2020 and master. That is a very great you know, astronomical discovery for the Argentina. Okay. Uh, the master system can be detected dangerous asteroids. That's very interesting. Uh, uh, you see, we discovered LUSC, several dangerous asteroids, and we discovered some new dangerous asteroids. I would like to show you that as a discovery, not in Argentina, but uh, in South Africa, in South Africa telescope you see here. And you see here that that is a blue, blue, that is the orbit of this asteroid, period, two years. And this dangerous asteroid for the, for the Venus, for the S, and for the Mars. 
за стероїдом. Найм кілометр, about nine кілометр по стероїду dimension, very big. Every two years have the one uh, rotation all around the sun. Okay. You see uh, some, uh, we, uh, our system can be detected very, very close uh, passing uh, dangerous asteroid. You see here this asteroid, two zero fifteen years, you see that is a uh, moving on the sky, this asteroid in real time. No, not real, this real time, but this compressed because this 10, 12 hours of observation. We, we, that is asteroid, you see this, uh, uh, because very fast moving near the, the several million kilometer, kilometers uh, near the Earth, you see. And you see how the, uh, direction of moving on the sky uh, changes. You see, you never to see this picture in another observatory, in another motor, amateur, because several telescopes between 5,000 kilometers, between two telescopes, and we found this orbit. And we found the shape of this observatory. That is so called Halloween, observ uh, Halloween asteroid where the star as it is a, you see optical optical um, light light curve of this asteroid 12 hours 10 hours you see i would like to stress this argentina this alpha observatory that is the south africa only two observatories in south, south sky that is mexico canary islands and five telescope in russia and another very, uh, uh, I must go fast. I am I, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, starting seven years ago, about seven years ago, to the gamma ray astronomy, we, we come to the new, uh, new region of astrophysics. We collaborated with a very, very big, huge physical experiments, neutrino experiments, you see here, that is a European Antares experiment, this ice cube experiment, uh, which detected high energy neutrino. No, no people in the world knows where come from uh, high energy neutrino, which detected on the ice cube, for example, or Antares. You see that the biggest telescope in the Canary Islands, this gravitational wave, this gamma rays, I, which I discussed before. And now I'd say several words, very important discovery in high energy neutrino in uh, has a extra galactic nature. This is very interesting. Physicists are very interesting because energy of neutrino, several hundred TeV, TeV, this 1,000 more, a uh, billion times more than the one mini, the gamma ray, for example. Good. And you see here, our, that is our color uh, image, one, uh, one Antares events. This only for your expression, image. Okay, uh, that is our detection, very interesting. When SQ detected high energy neutrino, we receive signal after 20 seconds, after 40 seconds, we receive uh, by internet this information, no, sometimes for reduction neutrino telescope. And we, in our telescope in Crimea, very quickly come to the uh, error box of neutrino. That is a Crimea master, master Tavrida telescope. That is our image cadre the image, image, as it is a rare box, and at the center was found the very bright blazer, blazer, the very super dim black hole. And what we see in this moment, we see that this black hole disappear, try to disappear from the sky. His luminosity go decrease during the several hours, two times decrease. And after the two hours come to the, during, uh, near the neutrino detection, we see very, very huge uh, differences luminosity of these blazers. 
And that's some theory, very interesting. The, we, we, we very close discussed this with uh, uh, physicists, high energy physicists. And uh, another Lazar we discussed now, this common paper in the, in the monthly notices in the press. Now we discovered another Lazar which coincided, changed his. Uh, luminosity near the detection of the neutrino, but for detection of neutrino was different telescopio. And most important part, I would like to attention, very important, because I, my introduction to this part, this part, one of the, I, I think one of the beautiful discovery in the classical astronomy in 21 century, that is a discovery of the localization of it, so, so gravitational wave. In the history of human just uh, localization was uh, in the uh, five, six years ago by several observatories. One of them, the Oobaha Observatory of the San Juan University. That is the best result. And uh, uh, the, you see here what 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 we shall do when the gravitational wave of astronomy come uh, to the active stage. Uh, you see here two American uh, that is a LIGO that is a uh, Italian interferometer that is a Kagra uh, Japan, Japanese uh, uh, interferometer that is a like to the gravitational wave detector. And a very, very big experiment. You see several kilometers here. Very important this to for our, uh, for our uh, discussion. The first discovery of gravitational wave was at the 2015, September, 14 September of 2015. The first detection of gravitational wave. You can see here. That the merging of two black holes with mass, 30 solar mass each black hole. The energy which, which evaporated is equivalent to the uh, energy uh, uh, about six solar mass in gravitational law. You, you listen now, the, maybe you listen now, that is, a, that is a frequency, that is a time second uh, inverse frequency of the gravitational wave. Okay, that is the first new discovery, like to discover all the electrical neutrino and so, so, so. That is what, how to be connected with the, this telescope in 2015. You see here, this our telescope received signal after one, after two days, that is the first just uh, detection gravitational wave. Now we receive signal and say and say minutes from LIGO Virgo system, and uh, that is a special conference I, uh, which you I have to supervisor in the our institute uh, concerning the discovery of gravitational wave, and this our you see here that I, I point out the, in the Argentina at that time no telescope in the, in the, in the Argentina at, uh, at the uh, 15 years no no telescope only white field camera so that is a point uh, green that is a, our survey of uh, yellow that is a gravitational wave error box this robotic telescope survey from South Africa. But two black holes not produce optical radiation. No produce optical radiation. So uh, after one year after detection, they keep torn. Uh, that's uh, very old. My, not my friend, my colleague was here. Every year he come to Moscow during the Soviet time because he came to the, my supervisor, Yakov Zendovich, and we discussed several kind of problems. And he uh, writing on our desk in our laboratory in the Moscow University, and he say, I would like to di please discover the optical emission from the gravitational wave source, because if you don't see, 
no people have new that this observation must be multi-channel astronomical observation. And after one year, we come to Argentina and installate this very nice telescope, which you see on the first slide, Master Oaxa Observatory. We receive signal at the moment when there was a day uh, in the Argentina, South Africa, uh, evening, uh, not, uh, but uh, position the error box is very close set to the horizon, up under the horizon, but uh, Argentina started to observe error box and discovery. You see here six telescope in world, which first time in history of human history found the play, found the place in the universe where from the gravitational world wave comes. It's very nice astro optical astronomy discovery. You see this telescope, five telescope, uh, between this telescope about 30 minutes only, this independent detection of the, of the kilonova. Kilonova that is a, some, part, some part of the uh, nuclear matter ejected after the merger and uh, due to uh, radia radiative reaction uh, produced the kilonova phenomena was predicted 20 years ago this phenomenon. But first detection, this telescope, between this telescope, 30 minutes, all this telescope found image before publication. First telescope that is uh, in Chile, all this telescope in Chile in one observatory, one, two observatory. So in words, there are two or three observatories which discovery, first discovery. That's the main important uh, this uh, now optical discovery uh, in the 21th century, optical astronomy discovery. You see here uh, the only one another Russian Argentinian project, the Master OAFA telescope, that's a very great discovery. Now we have, I, I show you that the, uh, this discovery has about 1,000 uh, citation per year. Not, not only this, all, all our paper. Okay, that is a funny movie which demonstrated what to do telescope when we sleeping. All to do uh, robotic telescope in every place. That is the field of view of our telescope. And you have the 10,000, 20,000 stars and key. Vladimir, is it not possible to see the, the picture now? And the robotic telescope found automatically this kilonova. That is discovery of kilonova. Okay, and that is movie produced in NASA. What happened? Two neutral stars rotated each Vladimir? other due to gravitational wave losses. Vladimir? They took them and this very, very nice flower, flower. But this radioactive flower produces the optical kilonova producing these flowers. We detected first in the history of astronomy and optical astronomy, new phenomena in the universe. Okay, and very quickly, what we to do, uh, I, I uh, come to finish, I would like several words, what I see in future with uh, global, our global, global net master collaboration. Vladimir? Yes. Uh, please, the last pictures, uh, movies, uh, we can, uh, uh, didn't see it because... Uh, okay, it okay, no problem. That is our citation, as the last, uh, that is the finish of the movie. Okay, thank you very much. Ah, I found this, I'm sorry. That is telescope, which we can, maybe in, in this years, we come to the Argentina with new telescope. And much uh, gracias, senor y señorita.
Okay. Thank you very much, Vladimir. Uh, very nice talk. Uh, questions? Thank you very much for your talk. I am Carlos Safe. Um, oh, Carlos, nice to, nice to listen to you. <laughs> another Carlos, a lot of Carlos in Argentina. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would like to know if perhaps if it, it, um, is it possible uh, to perform a kind of a spectroscopic follow-up of this very energetic events using, for instance, I don't know, um, a target of the opportunity. Um, there are a number of bigger telescopes which have this uh, important possibility. Maybe after the detection, a photometric detection of these transients, um, I think, I don't know, perhaps uh, it's have been done, but yes, I I that it could be a good idea to, to start a, a trigger a target of the opportunity. Yes, you mean the spectroscopic observation after the discovery of new phenomena, you mean, maybe? Yes, yeah, I understand you. Uh, maybe. Uh, because our telescope, not spectroscopic, as you understand it. Our telescope is for discovery and maybe, maybe the photometry in very wide, wide range of the electromagnetic. By the way, if, if we discuss at Kilonova, the phenomenon of Kilonova started after 10 hours after the uh, okay. match. And several big telescopes, like the South Telescope in South Africa, uh, our yeah. colleague from South Africa, uh, detect the spectrum with very, very complicated. Oh, okay, data. okay. Thanks. And uh, another question, um, I would like to know if you have another plan for, to, for the installation of um, additional uh, master telescopes in Oahu. Yes, that is a Maybe the last, um, the last the, the two or three pictures. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, no, uh, that is very, thank you very much. That was my friend because we, he started with two, our, installation of the small camera, big camera. Uh, Vladimir, and I would like we, one, uh, one thing. Vladimir, you sorry. see, at these years, uh, now we work... Your with... microphone is off, Vladimir. Please, your microphone is off, I think. You not uh, listen to me? Can you listen to me? Ah. Okay, now, now we can hear you. I can answer, no? I can continue. Oh, mamma mia. Just a moment. Natasha, can you hear me? Natasha, can you hear me? What? Vladimir. Yeah, I, let me to answer to Carlos. That is uh, now we with the, uh, Carlos Francile, we uh, preparing new uh, place for the biggest telescope because uh, the next step come to the more diameter and more deeper observation. More diameter give us uh, the biggest region of universe which we control it for the uh, for the discovery or the magic new phenomena which people no, never to see in optics, that is the magic of the black hole and optical black hole and neutral star mixing reaction, which I show you at the first several slides. Neutron stars plus black hole, never people to see this phenomena, no localization in optical light. This is very important problem now. It's needed the biggest diameter. And now we work about the uh, increase, increased diameter of the Alpha telescope. But small telescope at least uh, will be continued. No, do not worry, it's because a lot of in you in extreme universe produces 10 billion more brighter souls, which we have in the 20th century. So we see 10 uh, very big, we see very far 
uh, uh, in, in gamma ray, for example, bars observation, we see uh, very far in the universe distance. So, so I, I, I hope we uh, in the uh, not very far future, maybe in this year, I hope uh, we installed more massive, more more bigger telescope. Yeah. Power yeah. detection ten times more power detection. Uh, one question, Vladimir: uh, Why uh, your telescopes are all uh, refractor ones, and, and do you not use mirrors, for example? I mean the uh, I mean the ninety ninety hundred uh, foot nine hundred centimeter telescope. Uh, this master 900, about one meter. That is a very big telescope for the uh, discovery object. Different type. We have the soft. The most important, we have a good soft. And after that, we can produce. But we need the, a lot of people for the understanding what we see. Uh, uh, for example, several Anglo-Saxonian pro projects, maybe, People listen about this. Go to project. They now they have not soft. They say people. Uh, they uh, say to amateur astronomy, please help uh, discovery the Kilonova on our image by eyes. <laughs> you understand it, but this is now possible. Uh, but in our project, we need students postgraduated students, which with very historic. Okay, next historical discovery, the discovery of optical emission measured black hole and neutral star measuring. This fantastic phenomenon, never to see before. Okay, it's great. No preguntas? Hola, hola. Uh, hello. Uh, I am Ezequiel, a student for astronomy. Um, thank you for the, your presentation. I have a, a question about for the event in the 2017. Um, the more acceptable theory about this um, a collision in a two neutral stars, but there exists okay. another theory this uh, between an hypothetical object is um, the uh, collision in the, between uh, two boson, boson star. Uh, what are you thinking about uh, the your, other you theoric? More slowly, more slowly, because very, very fast. Not very, I see very good English, but my English is not very good. Oh, oh so, sorry, sorry. Um, What's your question? Uh, first, um, uh, okay, try again. Um, next is um, the, um, the most... Um, Uh, the more acceptable theory about the seven in 2017 is a collision in a two neutron star. And exists another theory. This uh, this this is a, a collision in a, a two theoretical theoretical object. Is this object a um, boson star? Oh, um, left, left, left. I never to see these people. Ah, I see, I see, I see. But as I as I understand, what is your question about the theory of this process? Uh, all, uh, all uh, there are several very important questions about the fundamental problem of gravitation. For example, now you know maybe there are several modifications of the Einstein theory. For example, uh, uh, that is a effortive gravitation. Uh, several uh, modifications. For example, first discovery of neutron stars, which especially was detected on our observatory, gave us very good limit for the uh, graviton mass. You understand me? Now we know the graviton mass is very small. The, the best limit for the graviton mass Receiving from the uh, kilonova uh, uh, seventeen uh, 
0817 events, that is a historical events. People, you must be understand, San Juan University produced, uh, participated in the most important um, events of the 21th century. Ah, maybe uh, Dark Knight had discovery, but Dark Knight had discovery uh, in the 20th century. So you understand? I understand you about modification of gravitational theory from this observation. Yes, because electromagnetic signal, uh, we detected uh, electromagnetic signal after the gravitational wave signal. You can find the difference in uh, velocity of moving of graviton and light. This gives you the best limit in physics about the best limit on the mass of the graviton, quantum of gravitational. There is no quantum gravitational theory, but uh, uh, we know that we understand that there is a graviton, the quantum of gravitational field. Maybe I explained it. Very important, next observation give us more and more precise mass of graviton limit. Mass of graviton limit. But I'm sorry for my English. No, no, no. Say thank you anyway. Okay. Okay. Uh, no. Okay, Vladimir, uh, no more question here. Uh, really, thank you very much for your talk. It was very, very interesting. And um, okay, we are waiting for your new telescope and for the new the discoveries in the future. So, thank you very much uh, and uh, be in touch uh, with uh, us and uh, with our students for. Uh, future questions about the physics and so on. Yeah. Okay, see you, Vladimir. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, guys. Oh, Federico, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Federico. Vladimir, I waited for you to to came back here with the new telescope. Yes, 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 yes. Every day I work on this. I, every day, every day. <laughs> maybe, maybe before the new happy new year. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Bye, Vladimir. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. 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 Uh -huh. Arrivederci. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs>